Deputy Darren Goforth was assassinated. That's the word they're using. Moments after filling up his cruiser at a convenience store gas station, the sheriff's calling uh, Goforth's death unprovoked and cowardly. People from all over the country came to pay their final respects to Corporal Brian Dixon. He was shot and killed outside of his police barracks in Pike County last Friday. Officers Wenjin Liu and Rafael Ramos shot point blank in the head in their police car Saturday in Brooklyn simply because they were members of law enforcement. Mr. Speaker, I rise today with a heavy heart to commemorate the life of Maryland State Trooper First Class Wesley Brown. Just 24 years old, Trooper Brown of Seat Pleasant, Maryland, was fatally shot last Friday. Deputy Wolfacore maintains his gunfire and does not displace again until the firefighters have safely evacuated. It appears that they were ambushed. They were inside of a coffee shop. Their computers were open. They all appear to be day shift guys that were getting ready to go to work and were meeting and going over what looks like cases and work type stuff when gunmen came in and opened fire and shot all four of them, and all four of them died from the wounds. Westerfield was a veteran of the United States Army. In 1995, he fulfilled his lifelong dream of becoming a police officer. His funeral services were held Monday at the Genesis Convention Center. This is the first police officer in the history of the Bardstown Police Department to be shot and killed in the line of duty. The wrong guy at the wrong time and place deciding to pull a gun and shoot at Jackson native Chad Dermeyer, who was only on a training exercise, not moving in to make any arrests at the Richmond, Virginia bus station yesterday. Officer Ashley Gwendon was shot and killed last week during her first shift as a Prince William County police officer in Virginia. The 28-year-old was responding to a domestic dispute with two other officers in Woodbridge, Virginia. All three were shot, but she later died that night. And officer Tom Cottrell was found, shot and killed his body a few feet away from the police station, his service weapon and his squad car missing. Sonny was the best of us. We are heartbroken and will never, ever forget Sonny. Detectives Butch Baker and Elizabeth Butler both lost their lives in the line of duty last week. Two years ago, Henwood was murdered by a suicidal man. This surveillance video at a local McDonald's caught the officer's last act of service that day, August 6, 2011. He bought cookies for a young boy who didn't have enough money. Henwood was shot minutes later, his own meal in his police car still warm. Chris Matlos was just 27 years old. He was engaged to be married when he was shot three times in the head as he sat in his patrol car last Friday. This is the last call for deputy Christopher Parsons. Deputy Parsons was fatally shot while assisting on a medical call on Saturday, December 15, 2012. He gave of himself, serving and protecting his community with courage and valor. All right, look, we're looking back at, in Dallas, Texas. This is disturbing. This is, we're, I'm not sure what we're seeing, but it, it looks from this vantage point like an officer down. This evening, this country finds itself once again mourning the loss of police officers shot and killed. First Dallas, now Baton Rouge. Three officers killed today after five were killed in Dallas. This time, there was a 911 call reporting someone with a gun. The responding officers coming under fire. Six officers were shot before the gunman was taken down and killed.